listen to a young girl who was saying that the Arab community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, so With too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. And now we are trying to nest a non timber forest product which is found in the Manu region of Cameroon. It's from Jangsa and is eaten widely across the country and in many places in West and Central Africa. It's a very wonderful spice. It's used in the making of pepper soup, fish, pork, the cooking of bongo chobi and several African dishes that are delicacies as well as staples. With the destruction of many forest areas, replenishing the wild with this kind of species must be pursued in order that the dietary preferences of people of this region is maintained now and as a heritage for generations to come and also as a livelihood tool and a weapon to fight poverty and for growth and economic development in Cameroon and Sub-Saharan Africa and Africa and possibly the world. So we've chosen tires that we are going to fill with soil for the fact that the corners of the tires will act as protective tools against intruders that can be fowls, goats and so on. So recycling things that otherwise will stand and solve the scenarios around this part of the world is something that needs to be encouraged because these tires in many ways are non-biodegradable in terms of the minimal technologies that exist in such fields in this part of the world. Hence, we must make use of them in such ventures. For a time, uh, do you like Mjangsa and how, what can you tell me about Mjangsa? I like Mjangsa very much. Mjangsa, as you know, is one of the spices, one of the important, the most important spice in you that we use to prepare our soup. We use to prepare pepper soup, especially when it comes to pepper soup, Mjangsa is the key to pepper soup. So, uh, I like Mjangsa very much. And I'm happy to do brand junk side other that I can use it due to the fact that nowadays we have that junk side is very expensive in the market. A cup of junk side now is costing about how much? Presently, as we are talking, a cup of junk side is 500 francs a day. For a spice that is eaten almost every day. In households across the country that is really a far cry that needs to be looked into and that has been the business and the objective 
of the African Center for Community and Development in trying to domesticate non-timber forest products so that they can be assessed by subpopulations who need it most. From here, we shall be filling the tires with soil and don't go away. And the soil that we will use in um, nursing the Njangsa has got good dung, big dung, as well as foul dung, which comes from the African Center for Community and Development. These are organic manure that is very rich and usually we advise that farmers engage in practices that lead to the use of organic manure as it can be gotten from around their farms, it can come from their kitchens, it can come from where they keep their animals and it is not as expensive as the industrial fertilizers that many of them use and that sometimes exposes them to intoxication. When farmers are intoxicated, then they have to treat themselves from the possible diseases and their cost increases making it very difficult for them to benefit from the products that they plant when they sell them in the local markets. Just across, you can see a cock and a hen. They are in the lodge. They are into courtship display. And it is a reasonable sight as we continue in our endeavor to less Jangsa. Slowly but surely, the tires have been filled with fertile soil on which we shall place the Njangsa seeds to sprout before we transport them to the Green Cradle Project run by the African Center for Community and Development. Their biodiversity is preserved while farming is enhanced both for food security as a learning platform and also as a means of alleviating poverty. So this is the dung we are adding there. You can see there are a lot of worms in it. It just tells you how fertile it is. And then we shall be placing the seeds on top of this soil and organic manure, which will then facilitate the germination process of the jangsa.
many development circles now talk of a paradigm shift towards sustainable development, which is a key element of the development that you can find within the parameters of the African Centre for Community and Development as well. driving population of worms in our organic manure mm. we'll do mulching here at the African Center for Community and Development as a regular process in order that we can be able to facilitate the processes of agriculture that we engage in or the research on. From now on, we shall be placing the Jangsa seedlings. We shall be placing the Jangsa seeds upon these tires. Thereon, we shall be covering them with palm fronds to secure them from intruders like that cock over there. Who might want to show his manhood by scattering the ground for some hens, as well as to unwanted insects. And here we have much of Jangsa, which we brought from the mining division, and we shall now be introducing them on this substrate of organic manure and soil in order that they can sprout. The palm saffrons will be placed then on top of them. When they germinate, we will introduce the young plants into protein bags from where we shall now allow them to mature to the time where we can transport them permanently to the Green Cradle Project or to our farm. So every tire nursery, tell me the word, is now having Jangsa seeds upon its acreage. We'll be looking keenly to see that they germinate to water when it's necessary. After now, we shall be placing palm fronds upon this surface. The reason why we are going to be using palm fronds is because palm fronds can give some room for water to trickle into the soil and for some sunlight to penetrate while providing at the same time the needed shade that is necessary for the saplings to grow and not to be destroyed by the aggressive sun rays which is also very pregnant 
when the time comes around the equator near the tropical rainforest of Cameroon and many parts of Africa. Here we come with the palm fronds that we shall place upon the surface of the tires in order that they can be protected from unnecessary intruders. Such has been technologies in Africa for thousands of years. Coming closer to farming groups but the traditional knowledge systems is very vital in terms of understanding some of the choices that people have taken to resist the shocks and stresses imposed upon their lives. So there's enough room for sunlight to find its way and enough room for water when the tires are void of enough moisture. Jangsa, or we know in Jangsa, which is the non timber forest product in Cameroon, is widely eaten by so many Cameroonians and Africans, and it's used in the cooking of so many wonderful delicacies and staples. And we hope that bringing such innovative ideas into the arenas of various subpopulations can empower communities, improve livelihoods, help to fight poverty and ensure sustainable development in Cameroon and Sub-Saharan Africa. It has been a real eye for people, places and events. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. So be very interested in this point at more than so. With too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.